This is MFR Off-Road Rider, back with another video. I'm down on the river bar by Fernbridge. I'm going to check out some uh, kind of overgrown trails, see if they'll lead all the way down to the, the historical Fernbridge bridge and uh, see how far if I can get down on some of these trails staying away from the river bar because there's not a, like a lot of roads down that way on the river bar side. Uh, nobody's, you know, gr packed down a good road, so it's all rocks and, and gravel and stuff like that, so it's slow going that way, but I figure I'm going to try some of these trails, see if anything leads down that way. But anyway, I'm up to uh, 853 subscribers, and this will be my 283rd video, which is awesome. I much appreciate all my support of my channel and all the comments and things like that. I um, much appreciate all the support. It, you know, it gets me out riding and uh, posting content of, of what we got to offer in NorCal. But anyway, so let's get going. Let's see if, how far we can get down this trail before we gotta turn around. Boy, it really has dried up. Uh, it's really gotten dry since we haven't had any rain. Uh, the, the silt has really gotten soft. To where it's it's almost as fine as as uh, flour in places. It's really super soft. It's almost worse than sand because it's it seems like it's a little bit finer. But it's just a good challenge. Oh, we got some low bridges. Oh, there we go. I'm up to three thousand. 62 miles on the 2021 CRF 300L Rally. Enjoying it. See how far we can make it. Hopefully it doesn't get too overgrown or don't run into a camp. Uh-oh. Might be a dead end here maybe. Find out soon enough. Oh, no. Whoop. Still going. I if they moved that log out of the way. Yep, they did. I think I can scoot around that. Low bridges. Looks like somebody needs to come and open these trails up too. Woo! Low bridges. Anyway, I've posted uh, quite a few shorts lately. Short videos and uh, got pretty good response out of them. I just want to make, you know, some random random stuff you know it's not m always motorcycle related but whoa that was a rut but uh it's nice to get the support of non-related oh motorcycle content as well whoa where does this go oh now it opens up a little more here we go so what's called exploring looks like the trail might be fading out maybe i don't know definitely not open like it was uh oh this could be the end of it maybe maybe not looks like somebody came through here uh oh uh oh mud bog uh, I don't think I'm gonna do that that looks pretty soft now I'm gonna have fun turning around in this stuff I figured it would end but man it's pretty soft right here where am I at here I'll just get off and push it back yeah, it looks like uh, pretty much a swamp now if you got a four if you got a four-wheeler or something you could probably make it through but or a side-by-side Back it up a little bit. Get away from this soft stuff. Soft mud. Get turned around. Now that's what's nice about this bike being lighter. Whoop. 
Kind of hung up on that stick. Come on, come on, baby. There we go. I think I, I think I get turned around now if my kickstand doesn't sink. There we go. Whoa. Well, that trail ended, so... I'll have to look for another trail. Where that trail goes doesn't look very looks like it hasn't been ridden on in a while it's all overgrown too guess I got to get closer to the river bar to get away from that soft mud pit oh ow There's a trail there too. Another trail there. I think I came out that trail actually. <laughs> this is a different one. See how soft the silt's gotten. Super soft. Yeah, it looks like I'm gonna have to get closer to the river bar, or actually closer to the river to get down farther. I don't know how many trails there are. Whoa. How many trails there are close to the riverbank and the trees. I'm back out to where I was, I think. Yep. That's what uh, exploring is all about. I don't know if I've talked about what I carry in my, in my tail bag. I carry a spare tube. I carry uh, a pump, uh, a rechargeable. It's, uh, it's, it's called a... Uh, now I can't even think of the name of it. But anyway, I carry an, an air an air compressor gun that that's that I found on that as seen on TV, and uh, I carry enough tools to fix minor things, change the tire, you know. Whoa. And, uh, whew, that's soft. And then I carry, like, extra zip ties and, uh, stuff like that. Like I said, everything to change a tire. And, uh, just random tools, like, like a crescent wrench and adjustable wrench, stuff like that. Uh, whoa. That was soft. But anything you might need. Whoa, lost my momentum there. 
anything you might need out on the road to get you get you back home or get you out of trouble and of course I carry something to drink let's see here where am I gonna go I think I've already been that way but let's, let's that goes quite a ways that way so this grass grass is overgrown so it should be pretty packed hopefully it doesn't end up in that mud bog but I came down here uh, oh about a month ago and on my TT 250 and it was super foggy drippy wet and it really distorted the video so it kind of the, the video quality wasn't that great because it had a lot of water spots on the lens so I figured I'd come down here and make another one because that would have been a good video except for except for like I said I didn't I didn't keep my camera lens clean enough I didn't wipe it off enough so it, it got a lot of water spots on it so I was pretty disappointed in that part I should have thought about that but I was making the video and I just started talking and just didn't didn't think about it so I wasn't really pleased with that I wonder if I'm ending up in the same area I was in <laughs> Ooh, this grass is getting deep I still see tracks and it's opened up as you can tell but you just it's really hard to see through the deep grass oh boy there's a low bridge I wonder if I can move it out of the way I got my saw actually so yeah I'll just I'll just move it out of the way I'll just cut it out of the way time to break out the the saw this saw I, I actually found on uh, on this trail actually got stickers and uh, wristbands just in case I run into somebody but uh, I found this laying on the trail it's kind of cool I've got my zip ties in there but yeah this is the little little saw that I got so yeah I mean if I can't move it I'll just cut it but I mean it's not very big but It'll probably do the trick, maybe. Let's see, let's go right here. Oh yeah, cuts right through that stuff like butter. You don't really need to cut through it all the way because I can bend it off the trail. Should have cut it a little bit farther the other way though. But it is what it is like butter it's a little good little saw just move that over there and probably just take this no nope. well here this is what I'll do I'll just trim off some of these smaller ones you can ride right by there that's plenty of room plenty of room there see how farther Looks like another one there. Might as well grab that one. Uh oh, it's really getting overgrown in here now. But I think I still see somebody went through here. But oh, this is a good little, good little saw there. It doesn't take up a lot of room. I mean, it doesn't fold. I have a folding one too, but this one's got a sheath and first time I've used it, works really good. So yeah, let's go a little bit farther here and uh, see if how far, much farther this trail goes. And we'll go from there. Put 
that back in there. Yeah, that's another thing I carry is the saw. Haven't had to use it, but I did today, so it's always good. Sorry for the heavy breathing, but <laughs> it's a good workout. Like I said, adventure bike riding is definitely good cardio, that's for sure, especially off road. Should I attempt it? After I cut the thing, I'm not sure I want to keep going because it looks like it's getting narrow. Let's, let's not. Let's not today. Let's wait till we have somebody to ride with. Try to pop out on the river bar and see how close we are to the bridge. Yeah, it's just a little sketchy when this grass is this tall because you can't really see what's <laughs> underneath the grass. Like a, a rut or a big log or rock or something of that nature, but it's all part of the, the adventure, right? This is twice I should have had trails that need to be opened back up. Oh, that one ends right there. It's a bunch of debris. Huh. There's kind of a trail, but it's pretty steep. Most of these look like they're all overgrown now. Need to get to summer now it's here the kids will come down here in their dirt bikes and open up all these trails i'm sure it's just so early in the summer season that uh nobody's really ridden down here yet but yeah it's gonna be good once all these trails get opened up with a little more traffic but yeah i'd like to thank all my viewers and subscribers for watching my videos give me thumbs ups all the positive comments much appreciated Hit that like, subscribe, and that notification bell for the release of my next video, which is either on Saturday or Sunday. 98% uh, of the time, I mean, once in a while I get off early since the weather's getting better and it's staying lighter later, that I'll maybe post one earlier in the week if I get off or off of work early or something. But, uh, yeah, this is MFR Off-Road Rider. See you on the next one. Later.